G'day Aquarius, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, eh? Alright, so this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your replacements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Yes, you watching right now. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, the um, decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. Alright, let's go Aquarius. Let's get a message for you to start with. Alright. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, yeah, I think you want to express some love here, but you're a bit stressed about it. So, free yourself of that stress, take back control of your life. Get that self-love up and that self-respect. Express that love. Have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And see how they feel. Express how you feel and see how they feel. You've always got your self-love to fall back on. Free yourself of, you know, this, this controlling you. You're good on your, you know, when you're good on your own, if, you know, someone's not right, then that's fine. There's... You know, it's disappointing, but it's not, you know, you're not devastated because you're like, oh, well, it wasn't meant to be. Because, you know, you just go back to enjoying your own company. If you're reliant on someone else filling your cups, then that's when it becomes a problem. What's this? Yeah, children... And love yourself first. So it could be something to do with your childhood. Um, that you didn't learn to love yourself. To respect yourself. Could be a childhood issue that's like insecurities from childhood that's making you feel like you can't be on your own. Be happy on your own. Mm, just have a look at that if that's the case. You feel more confident about you, you know, picking the right person that's for you. You might, you know, just jump on the first thing that comes along because, oh, can't handle being alone. Yeah, it's worth waiting for someone that um, is the right person. Um, reconciliation, someone from your past. I'm feeling this is more reconciling with yourself. So then you're, you're happy to wait for that right person to come along. Alright, let's get into them. Give me three cards for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. There's one. Two. One more, please. Three. Beautiful. Okay, so they have... I like it when they come out fast. Ooh, I don't like that though. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Uh-oh. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. And then free yourself. It's time to date back control of your life. So what's this deception? What are they hiding? Are they hiding that they love you? Or are they hiding something dodgy? I don't know where it comes from. Feeling that chemistry, but then mm, freeing themselves or something here. Love yourself first, so they've got that self love here. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together, so it might be just a holiday fling. Because they're pretty happy with themselves, so let them let your friends help you. And true love, romance of a lifetime. So they've got their self respect and self love here. 
looking to spend a holiday time together maybe with you and some friends, hmm, they might find the fact that they see you as a true love and have a romance of a lifetime and finally let go of those control issues. Hmm, interesting. So they might come in just thinking it's, you know, just a bit of a holiday fling, but then they catch the feels. Hmm, okay. Let's get another message for you and then clarify. Alright, what's the message for Aquarius? Magician, you have all the tools provided. You have all the tools to get whatever you want here. King of Wands, Fire Energy. The Emperor. <laughs> and the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. Yeah. So you can mass for, manifest whatever you want here. So, master that element of passion and action. Stay in control of yourself. Control those passions. Stay in control. You know, you know, you know what you want. You want to build an empire with someone. That's that's great. Um, mm, bit of flirty energy here, though. Yeah, flirting with someone when you want to invest is might not be the right way to go. You might stuff up that opportunity. There'll be gossip. Mm. See, if you've got that self-love, you won't care. You'll just move on if that's the case and close out the cycle. If it's, you know, not, not the right opportunity, I'll just sort of four of cups again. It's not something you're interested in. You won't care. You'll just go, oh, well, wasn't meant to be. Move on. Mm, yeah, you might need to go with me and do a little bit of soul searching here with the hermit. Alright, tell me about this section for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. What are they hiding behind the mask? Three of Cups, hmm. Hiding the fact they want to get together with you or hiding the fact that there's a third party? See, this is a bit different because there's, there's the two there. And that's basically what the Two of Cups, if you've seen the Two of Cups in this deck. Um, they're the ones celebrating this coming together. So, hmm, it's a bit hard to tell from one guard, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, Five of Swords. In this deck it's restrictions, but it can be sabotage and... It can, could be a third party here. Oh, we've got to go further though. Hmm. They're sabotaging this by their, with their deception, by hiding the fact that they wanted this to get together, but I don't know. The Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. See... turning in with time to balance this out with a passionate new beginning and passionate communication after a painful ending and holding back emotions here king of cups water energy hmm the wish is to move forward with love knight of cups water energy but hmm, missing that opportunity because Knight of Swords, air energy. Cutting action and holding back. Not giving up, but stressing them out. Uh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I don't know who sings that. I only know that bit. <laughs> I don't know who the rap songs and all that stuff. doesn't really do much for me but anyway 
each to their own. Ooh, eight of cups. So, the, walking away from something that wasn't fulfilling, the wheels turned on what they walked away from. So did they walk away from you? And they're hiding the fact that they want to come back and reconcile, but they're being restricted here. Yeah, because I was getting that with the, um, has enough time passed that they can come and balance things out with you and have a new beginning. Hmm. I don't know, something doesn't... Temperance, yeah, being patient, patiently waiting. For what, though? Waiting to see if the secrets come out is what I'm hearing. Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, ooh. Have they maybe offered love to somebody else? People are gossiping about it. Holding back from taking action of telling the truth here. Wow, oh, this is weird. Tell me about chemistry for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. interesting. We've got the Five of Pentacles, we've got the Herm, ah, sorry, a Hierophant, the Emperor, wow, and the King of Wands, fire energy, okay. Strong magnetic attraction here. Out in the cold, maybe learning the lessons, you got out in the cold, commitment, in control, mastering passion and actions. They're in control of what they're doing. They know exactly they they know exactly what they're doing and how they what actions they're taking, what they're doing with their passion here. They're fully in control of that. They know what they're doing. Still feeling the chemistry, maybe they got left out in the cold. They still want this commitment with you. They're trying to stay in control. Mm. Control that passion they feel for you with this chemistry. Because of some deception of a third party. They, mean, they sabotage the relationship. It's at the bottom. Yes, yeah, Seven of Swords, wow. Cheating, lying, stealing. Yeah, they got left out in the cold for cheating, line stealing. But yet they still want this commitment with you. Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Strength card, the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, lots of Pentacles. So what, they want to come in and give you some sort of gift here? I'll show you that they're stronger now. They've tamed that beast. They want long-term stability with you. Can we start again with a stable beginning? Page of Swords, Air Energy and the Chariot. <sighs> Gathering information on how to move forward here with the lovers, with a soulmate or is it the, with a choice? <coughs> They're conflicted about making regarding stability here. <coughs> oh, sorry, because of heartbreak, they went into hermit mode. Perhaps they were deceived by... Mm, I'm not really getting that. Hang on, I need a sip of drink. <coughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to gulp and swallow in that mic. I tried to move it away, but I moved it back at the wrong time. <laughs> the tower has fallen here. Because of confusion and illusion and disappointments here, but they're trying to manifest this back. You back, Queen of Swords, water energy that you Aquarius with the jug especially. Trying to entice you with some sort of small gift or offer. Saying that they can control the beast now and they want to commit. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. Deception, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. 
Yeah, they want to try and balance things out again. But there's still secrets hidden here. Mm, juggling someone possibly. Yeah, they'd be defensive about it. But, you know, they want to try and keep the peace. Alright. Tell me about free yourself for this love energy coming towards Aquarius. Maybe it makes more sense to you than it does to me, but... I'm a bit confused here. I'm usually pretty good at picking up the story. Free yourself from the Seven of Pentacles. What? Take back control of your life. They want to free themselves from investing in anything. Free themselves from reviewing the past. It's getting investing. They don't want to invest in anyone. Queen of Wands, it's all about passion. Fire energy. She's loving, but she she's all about passion. She loves passion. Not really the committing type at all. You want to be free from investing in anything and just have passionate relations. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, they want to stay single with the hermit. Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Queen of Swords. They want to stay single, but then they want long-term stability, or they want your money. Want your stability. Trying to manifest in you. <laughs> Entice you with a small little gift, but... They're going to take off, disappoint you, leave you confused, and an illusion uh, and cause a tower. So, <clears throat> let me look at this again. Self-love, yeah, it's just a fling. They'll put you in the friend zone. Even though you might, you may think it's a, a true love situation, they're going to just let it go with the flow because, yeah, they're going to be childish and just leave this separate because they have trust issues. That's why they can't, yeah, they don't hang around. Right. Okay, well, you know, they've got trust issues. I think you should have trust issues with this person. They're deceptive. They sabotage, leave you out in the cold. Um, King and Queen of Wands is here, so it's just a passion connection. Cheating, lying, stealing. Yeah, leaving commitment out in the cold, wanting the to take control of things here but it's just so they can cheat line steal or possibly steal from you freeing themselves from investing in anything because they only want passion yeah it's not it's not a commitment at all here this isn't love all right message for aquarius is Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. You're very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous moon. And bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay. So you've got a bit of luck on your side. You're coming into a win-win. You're close to achieving your goal. Just bring love into it. And you'll get the answers that you need. Yeah, the issue will be resolved and the end of the tough cycle will. So I think if you bring love into this, you'll get the answers you need. Because they're not, they're not interested in love. They'll go. And it'll be a win-win. Because you'll be true to yourself and what you want. And you'll get rid of them because they're not, they're not offering what you want. Look at the bigger picture, exactly. Look at the bigger picture. <sighs> Give me three cards for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. <clears throat> Take that one out. Oh, get out. That's a flip up. There we go. We got three. Oh. They have. Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. 
Time to give rather than take. New Moon in Virgo. <laughs> and don't let pride get in your way. Full Moon in Leo. Okay. Now with that card why I laughed was it's time for you to give and for them to take. I'm going to be bold here. But I don't think they are, they are going to let pride get in their way. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe they, they have no morals. It's all just about passion. <clears throat> they know what they want. Yeah, nothing will come of this situation. They know it. Void, of course, moon. Confidence is your key to your success. New moon in Leo. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. And a fiery climax approaches. Uh-oh. So, yeah, they know nothing's going to come out of this. It's not going anywhere. But they're confident that they'll get what they want. Might be a little bit of a step out of their comfort zone, but if it gets too uncomfortable, they'll cause a fiery climax. But this hard this is hard work for them to get that payoff. Yeah, because they're not going to balance themselves and release what they need to. They're holding their vision. Yeah, they know they need to release this negativity, but the energy just keeps gaining momentum. Yeah, they're planning. They know what they're planning here. Alright. Yes, this is right away, even though the, it's the same as my message deck on the back. <laughs> it's not. Okay, let's clarify. Well, we'll get a message for you again, Aquarius. But it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? What's the message for Aquarius at the bottom, please? Oop. The Hierophant. The Knight of Pentacles Earth Energy. The Five of Swords Sabotage. And the Nine of Cups, yeah. Yeah, you want stability. You want a commitment here. That's what you're looking for. You want someone that will offer you to move forward with stable action. Don't sabotage yourself with this person here. Because they're not moving at all as far as stability goes. Um, yeah, don't sabotage your own self-happiness here on a player that's indecisive and just wants to cause fights and, and have competition and other choices. You want a soulmate that can offer you love. They have many choices here people wanting to give them love that they just want passion out of because they don't show any love. They hold back from that. And it's all just about the the cheating lying, stealing and keeping secrets, being really defensive and growing their own empire by offering very little and acting toxic, getting what they want, getting control of other people's stuff just like they've done in the past. Controlling other people's investment in them. And they get bored and they pick something out else and they cut you out. Leave you feeling stuck while well, they're very clear on what they want. What they, they know what they're doing. Yeah, you're left with the nightmare of the stability turning to heartbreak. Don't do it. You want stability. So, move forward with stability. Don't sabotage your happiness with this person. Because then you'll have to heal and start again, and no. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. You want commitment. So keep moving forward with, towards stability. Cut this out. Tell me about be bold and make the first move for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Yep, their first move is to find out all they can about you. Page of Wands, uh, Page of Swords, um, God, I can't speak, Air Energy. They're going to try and find out everything they can about you. 
so that they can stand on this higher ground. When you get defensive, they can defend you off with whatever they've found out about you. Oh, watch out for this person. I don't like them at all. Yeah, they get an info on you so that they can defend their actions. Yeah, when they start a fight. And, you know, all the competition that they've got. Well, yeah, all the others that they've got. They spy, they, they spy on all of them. So that they have the high ground over them all. Well, they think they do. Yep, so the first move is to find out all they can. Two of Swords, Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, Five of Cups. Wow. Yep. Or else, uh, the first move is that when you start to question them and ask and you want information, they get all defensive and pick a fight. They won't answer your questions. They take off to someone else because they're acting like a player here. So they won't make a choice. They'll just run off to somebody else and get emotionally fulfilled somewhere else and, yeah, leave you standing there in disappointment while they've gone off somewhere else. Leaving you to think about this. Queen of Swords air energy. Yeah, you need to cut them out. You need to stand. Yeah. See, this is the thing. You know, they know they disappoint you, so then they come back, want to move to calmer waters. Oh, I've done some soul searching, I'll do the right thing and come correctly now, but then time goes by and they're holding back <clears throat> and the tower falls again and you're left healing in confusion while they're doing the victory dance because they got what they wanted out of you. What is going on? You and Libra seem to have these really dodgy people. This, I think last time, or like this too. Yeah, they're really guarded and defensive, this person. Tell me about a time to give rather than take for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. See, I told you, it's about you giving and them taking. Because they see you as stable, grounded and loving. But as soon as it's time to give rather than take and put some work in here, oh no, they're all defensive. When it's time to put the work in, they're all defensive and uh, they're going to ghost you. They're going to go ghost. The hermit. They're going to go hermit mode. Yep. Yep. Gone. Six of swords. Gone. Leaving you in disappointment because it's all about their own selfishness here. Yep, they just take off. Go off to somebody else and see if they can get some attention out of them. Yeah. Oh, fruit. What have we got? King of Cups. Yep, holding back emotion. Ace of Cups. Yep, holding back emotion. When it comes to a new beginning, that's just a headache for them. Because it's all about their own happiness. Having choices is their happiness. It's their wish that they just want to be single and independent. That's their happy ever after here. 
all they do is just wait for the next one to juggle. That'll put the work into them that they can leave out of the cold once they get the coin out of them. Then it's off to the next choice. Cheating, lying, stealing to get stability from people. And you're one of them, Aquarius. Yeah, because look under the deck. So we've got love yourself first. The hermit. And nothing will come of this. So they, they're all about themselves. The hermit is solitude energy. All your, you know, working on yourself. And nothing will come of this. So they're not in, they're not looking for anything. It's all about themselves, what they can get. Tell me about don't let pride get in your way. I don't think they have any pride. There's love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. And I don't think they have any self-respect with that love yourself first. I think they just love themselves and that's it. No one else. Too busy wrapped up in their own stuff. What's this pride? Don't, get in, don't let pride get in your way. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, this is you. All oh, Queens are loving and she's the Queen of Truth and Clarity. Come correctly with the truth or I will cut you out of my life. And you know, this is the thing. They don't care. They'll pretend to come correctly. They don't care if you cut them out. They don't care. They got no pride. I don't think they have any pride. It's all about their own growth. The Empress. What can they get? They'll, you know, they've got no pride. They'll come, they'll come and lie and um, make out like they're coming correctly to get what they want. They don't care. They'll sell themselves for, for the, the coin or whatever it is that they want. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, but it's the devil, see? It's the stableness is a lie. That they're wanting commitment and stability. They want to be financially abundant and it's, it's 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 a toxic thing for them this abundance that they want big or small they'll basically sell their soul for this money big or small nine of cups water energy yeah any love that they show is totally controlled with the emperor painful endings yeah They'll just go and reconcile with someone else. Just go out and flirt. Just flirting with someone and they, oh, everything's healed now. They're offering my love to me. Oh, well, everything's balanced now. All I had to do was apologize. Now I don't have to do anything else. I've got all these other options. They start asking me truths and no, nah, that does my head in. I'm out. I'll go get attention somewhere else. Because that just ties my head in. So, yeah. Off I go. Looking for the next one. Leave them hanging. But the thing is, karma's going to catch up for them for all these people that they've hurt. Yeah, the divine's not happy. The higher powers aren't happy. And, and karma is not happy. This is karma. And this is a direct, well, you know, he's meant to be in touch with Source, so. Hmm, for holding back that love and keeping the secret. There's the secret keeper. She keeps all the secrets, tells the Hierophant what to say. Yeah, that, it's, it's all known. The higher powers know. How they've been controlling emotions of other people. Sabotaging, yeah. <laughs> Their movement forward is going to be stopped. No matter where they go, the divine is very patient. And they will take action for all the loving people that they didn't tame their beasts with, that they walked away from and hurt, hurt by manifesting in their own selfish passions. Yeah. 
causing third parties with people that wanted long-term stability. Just wait, mate. Mm. I don't like this energy, but yeah, uh, the, yeah, the stability they want is is a, the toxic kind. They're, they're, it's all just about the money. So yeah, the love is controlled. It's all just to get that money. They see someone with stability, and they offer jack shit to them, and then they throw in a little bit of love because they just want the money. So. Keep your bank account closed, Aquarius. Keep it closed. To this and this person. It's all just a lie. Yeah, they got no pride. They'll come in and tell you anything. Or maybe they will tell you the truth. And I'm just here to, for you to help me build in my empire. But it's not about you, it's about me. Alright, what would Aquarius like to say? I'm afraid of commitment. Oh, you're afraid to commit to this person. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm hearing I'm sorry I've got to hurt you. Uh, but you're running. Yeah, you're going to run. You're scared you're going to get... You know you're going to get hurt, so you're going to run. Um, they do turn you on. They probably do play that... Play the wand card and turn you on a bit, but you know you're going to get hurt. Um, yeah, you're going to run. Because you know you're going to get hurt if you're in, into, the, into a commitment with this person. No matter how much they turn you on, that fear of this hurt is, um, yeah, a lot stronger than any wand action they can provide. Mm, you're always thinking about them, though. Hmm. They'll play on that. Be careful. All right. Give me at least three cards and let this love energy come towards Aquarius would like to say to Aquarius. afraid of these feelings. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they have commitment issues, maybe they have feelings issues. Don't know how to deal with feelings. I love your smile. <laughs> you are so hot. This is just a con. And I now know what I lost. Oh yeah, they know that they lost that stability what they wanted to out of you and this is the con this is the con but they won't show any feelings towards you or no because that's too scary but it's 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 a con oh i love your smile aquarius oh you're so hot oh now i know what i've lost i want you back again it's all just a con oh you know i ran away because i was scared afraid of the feelings that i had for you Oh, look, I'm different now. Right. But see, lying was easier than telling the truth. Yeah, because it is. It's lying. They're just lying. Yeah, and they are going crazy without you because, of, yeah, they've lost, it, lost their stability. And I've always loved you. Yeah, right. You've always loved the money or oh, the stability. You know, you can say you don't have much money, but you've got more than what they have. And you always help them out. You give them what they don't have. And look, I'm afraid you will reject me. Yeah, and I should be, because I think you will. 
Here comes the second again. You are beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to see you again. Oh, we'll be together again. But yeah, they know they're, they're going to mess it all up. Once they get what they want, they're out. Oh, please don't give up on me. But yeah, they just want to be single, so yeah. Nothing's going to come of this. It's all about their own stability. Hmm. It possibly could be the same person that Libra's dealing with. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the only one they're doing this to, so. Yeah. Alright, well that's your reading, Aquarius. Sorry it's not that great for... You know, almost Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It's a heads up anyway. So, yeah. But I will, fingers crossed, get another reading out before Valentine's Day or on Valentine's Day if you're in Oz. Um, I'm going to try my best to get it out on that day. Um, yeah. And if you're, like, behind in the time... <laughs> You may get it Valentine's Eve, so, mmm, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Alright, well, yeah, thanks for watching, and, yeah, good luck with this. Just keep your bank account closed, and watch how fast they run. Watch how busy they are when you close your bank account to them. Mm, that's always a good test. If they run when you when you you don't um offer to give them money or pay for things for them um i'm not saying you know get them to pay for everything because that makes you look like that so you know just don't you know if they're asking you for oh i've got me wallet oh can you pay for this and oh you know I, oh, I haven't got me purse with me or you know nah no, no. So, oh well, can't get it then. Sorry. Yeah. Just don't. Don't. Alright? Okay, well it's up to you anyway. You have free will. <laughs> Alright. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.